Okay, let's have a look at how we use an array in this. Now, an array, which you might already know, is where you've got a variable. So let's say we've got names, and instead we could just say names equals mark, in which case that a variable has is not an array, it's just a variable. But we can store multiple um, things in it, and we're going to start with a one-dimensional array, and in pseudocode this is represented with square brackets. So, let's say that the first one is mark, uh, the next one is rad, uh, since I'm just using my brothers and sisters and I in here. Uh, then we have fig, and then we have stave. So, that is actually as simple as it is to create that array. So, you can just put the name of the array and spell out. Um, you could, if you wanted to, you could declare it. So, you could say, uh, var, var, uh, names as array. Uh, you don't have to do that, but you certainly could. And we'd probably do that first, so let's put that where it belongs. There we go. Now, the other way that we can put an item in an array in pseudocode is we can just declare it in that spot. So, if we wanted to add, because um, incidentally that's on index 1. So, if I were to say um, print names, and then I'm calling the index with a number, that would print mark because I'm in the first place in the array, and that's index 1. If I were to put uh, 3, it would be Steve, because it's 0, 1, 2, and 3. But if I wanted to add somebody to the array, I could just say, or let's say I wanted to change um, Rad's name. I could, in fact, say um, names, brackets 1, which is where she sits, and then I could say equals... Actually, I realised I made a mistake with my equals up there. We'll have to go and fix that. In fact, let's go do that right now. So, he's assigned the value of that. And I could say that that is assigned the value of Radha. And that would actually take the place of what was in the array. So I could just spit out the whole array this way. I could just go and define it. And then I could have names uh, 4, which I don't have. Uh, names 4 equals um, Karen. There we go. So that's how I add stuff to an array. Now this is called a one-dimensional array. So where this is useful is I can store a whole lot of stuff in there and I can add to it and I can actually remove items from an array. Um, so I would probably do that and I would probably say something like uh, names.remove and then I would put, you know, the one that I'm removing. So then mark would disappear from it and rad would then have the index of one because the array would be shorter. Uh, so you can do that with an array. Uh, you can add to an array. One thing that's very common is using an array with a for loop. So I might say for i equals um, zero to, well in this case we go up to four, zero to four, and then inside that I might say print names and then I'd put I because that's the index. So the first time that this runs, and I'm just going to tidy it up a bit, N4. So uh, actually, and in here, we would actually say next I. So we'd move I along in its value. So first time it runs, I equals zero. Well, that's going to print mark because I'm that with an index of zero. Then rad because it would be two. Oh, 1, then it would be 2, then it would be 3, and then it would be 4. So we could cycle through all of that content. So that's how we use an array, and that is, um, I mean, they're useful in all sorts of languages, but that's how they work in pseudocode.